Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Craft Kitchen. What can I say about today's episode except beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. While that may be true, this recipe is so damn good that you just won't care. We are making slow cooker ham and beans. I love this recipe because it is basically set it and forget it, and the beans come out creamy and perfect every single time. So hold on to your frijoles, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. You will find today's recipe measurements in the description below. We're going to kick this recipe off by mixing the water, chicken stock, salt, vinegar, and brown sugar until everything dissolves. I could do this directly in the crock of my slow cooker, but let's face it, I have a video to make here, and this is clear. For you at home, just do this in your slow cooker and save a dish. Dice your onion easily by cutting strips the long way. Then spin it 90 degrees and make cuts perpendicular to the ones you just made. Cut your ham into cubes. They don't have to be precise at all. Go ahead and grind any whole spices you plan on using now. In go the beans. Add the onion and the ham. Pour in the mixture we made earlier, unless you already have it in there, of course. I prefer fresh cracked black pepper. Toss in the rest of the spices and stir everything together. Take a piece of parchment paper and cut a piece about the size of the opening on your slow cooker. We need a small hole right in the middle there. So I'll just fold it back up and nip the tip. Press the parchment down over the beans and flood it slightly so the liquid holds it down while it holds the beans down. Cover the beans and cook on high for one hour. After the first hour, switch it to low and continue to cook for nine hours or until they are nice and soft. Don't mess with them while they cook. Just let them do their thing. Patience is a virtue. If you like beans with more of a broth, just let them sit about half an hour before serving. If you like them thicker and creamier, stir them immediately for a few minutes. Maybe even intentionally squish a few beans. Again, wait about half an hour before serving so everything can settle together. I didn't film taking off the parchment paper. I assume we all know not to eat that.
Serve it up however you like it and enjoy. I told you you wouldn't care about a little bit of flatulence. These beans rock. Feel free to have some fun and tweak the recipe. Throw some maple syrup in there, add a little bit of cayenne or some chili flake for spice, whatever kind of thing you're into. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.